Arxpeckers are birds belonging to the starling family. They are also called buffalo starlings. There are two types of these birds, yellow-billed and red-billed arxpeckers. Buffalo starlings are the same size as common starlings. They have short legs and neck, a pointed tail, and elongated wings. The back and tail are grayish-brown in color, the abdomen is light, and the head is brown. The beak is thick, red-yellow. The eyes are bright red and surrounded by yellow skin. The appearance of males and females is the same. Both species live in southern and central Africa. Habitat is savannas and dry woodlands. They lead a gregarious lifestyle. Birds migrate short distances in groups of 10 to 50. Each year the groups occupy certain areas. Arxpeckers do not have permanent dwellings, during the day they look for food, and sleep on some bushes. Individuals in flocks behave amicably, if one starling notices a danger, it immediately warns flock members by crying. In general, they are rather shouty and their shouts are spread far away which is used by herbivorous animals because birds scream to hide their predators. Arxpeckers, like other starlings, feed on a variety of insects and insect larvae. But buffalo starlings have a unique way of obtaining food. Africa is home to a huge number of herbivores, their herds graze on the plains, and all the animals are infested with various ectoparasites, ticks, fleas, gadflies, parasitic flies, and the like. It is these parasites that oxpeckers feed on. They land on the bodies of animals and, holding onto the hair with their paws, move around the body. Arxpeckers feed on various gnats and parasites that affect larger animals. Buffalo starlings graze almost all herbivores, antelope, zebra, hippo, giraffe, rhinoceros, buffalo, and gazelle. In doing so, they look for parasites not only in the fur, but also in various hard-to-reach places, eyes, nostrils, and ears. The animals patiently wait to be freed from the vermin and do not even try to drive the birds away. There is nothing strange in it, because the buffalo starlings destroy insects, which not only annoy the hosts, but which can also cause the death of the animal. That is, these birds are doctors of the savannah. Sometimes they supplement their diet with fruits or insects caught in the grass. These birds nest once a year. The breeding season occurs at different times in different parts of Africa. The male sings the mating song while being right on the animal's body, and mating takes place on the animal. Arxpeckers are also called savanna doctors. The birds make a nest in a hollow or in a rock. The clutch contains three to five eggs of pale blue color. The parents bring the young to the parasitic larvae. The parents then bring the young to the flock and they become part of it. Arxpeckers do not have many enemies. Most often they are attacked by birds of prey. For humans, buffalo starlings are not economically important. But they do do a lot of good, freeing livestock from numerous parasites. This includes eating locusts. Buffalo starlings nest in hollows, potholes in rocks, and even human buildings, where they build their nest using the wool of herbivores. Africans think that oxpeckers harm animals because they peck wounds on their bodies. Indeed, these birds can aggravate the wound healing process, but they do much more good than harm.